All right, guys, what is good? Today, I'm gonna take that Roadrunner that I've been working on. We've been doing some modifications to it. Some of the stuff has not been coming out very well. But before we get into that, a lot of you guys asked me about my garage and looking at the house. Well, I'm not gonna go through the house. It's messy as hell, but I'll definitely show you what I have in the garage right now. Cause there's a lot of cool stuff in here that you guys might not know that I still have or I got in and what's going on. And then we'll get on the ride on the eMove Roadrunner Pro. All right, so starting off in this corner, it is super messy, man. I am OCD about a lot of stuff, but it just gets to a point where I do not know what to do with all this stuff. So been working on the Tesla that I have outside. If you guys didn't know, I own a Model Y Performance. And these are like the backs of the seats. I got carbon fiber ones, so these are just in the way. There's nowhere to really put them. I have no like shed or nothing like that. These are all the old panels that came off the interior because I changed it to carbon fiber as well. And this doesn't fit anymore because I put a subwoofer as well in the Model Y. And then these are some, I think, uh, tail lights, I believe, the stock ones. This is a motor from the Rev 1. These are uh, tires and rims for my uh, Fiesta ST, which I'm actually trying to sell at the moment. So if you guys are looking for a car, let me know. And then this spot is where my Suron goes, but it's up there in the front because me and my buddy were riding the other day on a group ride. This is my Super 73. I still have it. 72 volt. Lots and lots of money into this thing. I love it. Over here in this corner, still a mess. We got a fire extinguisher just in case something happened. Uh, these are all the old suspension parts that I took off my uh, Tesla. So again, I don't really have much room because this other section over here is where I have all the parts from the e-bikes that I've taken off. You can see a Super 73 battery over here. There's just a lot going on. And I still have the original Super 73 battery outside the case because I was gonna use that case for something. I also have a controller from the Super 73, brand new in the box. I think I'm doing a build with it one of these days, but yeah, this is just a mess over here. Here's a bunch of my helmets though. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones I got from the electric bike company. Love that thing. This one's pretty cool from Ex Nido. And then here's all my jackets and stuff that I use, but these aren't my motorcycle ones. These are just the ones from Beyond Riders. And then I also put like my gloves and stuff up here. And I barely use these because they're so big. Like these are nice to have 600 bucks or 500 bucks for these gloves, but they're bulky. And when you try to use your phone and hit the buttons on your GoPro when they're on your helmet, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And here's the helmet that I rock. If you guys were ever interested in that, a lot of you guys already probably know, and it also has lights and stuff that I could turn on as well if I just hold this button right here. And it looks super cool at night. I love riding with this helmet with the lights on. You could do so much cool mods to that. And then let's go over here. I still have the Rev 1. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. It's still for sale, 3,500 bucks. I never finished it. I would love to keep riding it, but I feel like it's just like my Super 73 and I've done so many more modifications than my Super 73 and it has a way bigger battery with those two combined. So that's kind of why I don't really ride this and the chain is not connected. I never fixed it. So it's kind of more of a, I might get pulled over type of bike. Like it's illegal because there's no actual chain connected. I feel like cops are gonna say something about it. And then this one, we still gotta do another video on this because this is the Rave GTX that had the battery recall. And I did review it with the original battery, but they did send us a new one. And it's in this box way down here. If you guys can see that, it's covered up by some Amazon packages. But I saw the original battery and the one they sent me. So I really wanna ride this thing again, but they haven't sent me the headlight yet. And we already know the headlight went out on my last video. So most of my riding's done kind of going into the middle of the night. So. Kind of like, uh, I'm just waiting for a replacement on that. We got the Tolari XXX, no surprise, you guys just saw that. I just posted this one up for sale the other day, so the Velar scooter is probably gonna be gone soon. The K6 is now fixed. It does not do 75 miles an hour, unfortunately, but this is one of the fastest things I have in this garage, and it's hard to wanna get rid of this thing. Then the Jansno e-bike over here, this one I just reviewed, so you probably saw it on the channel. Super fun. I actually like it more than I thought I was, but it's super slow. It's a very uh, comfortable ride. And then over here is a mess. These are my uh, Tesla wheels and tires. So I like to uh, get new tires when I uh, get rims and stuff like that so I can have backup ones just in case. You never know if you're gonna get a flat, you know, or something like that. So, and then here is the Suron 72 volt, the first bike I ever got on this channel. I've had this thing for like three years now. Love it. 
And then here is the Rode Runner Pro. This is what you guys were interested in. So I apologize for people that didn't care about seeing this, but now that we're here, we did some modifications. So I put some RFY suspension on here. I'll put links down in the description. These are 320 millimeters. The only thing you have to do to install these, it's pretty simple, is you need to come down here, take this axle bolt out, you take the little uh, clip out, the little locking thing, do it on the other side and then just drop the wheel. Make sure you like put it on a stand though because it's gonna be better to prop it up on a stand or a box or something. Drop the wheel because you're gonna need access to this right here and you're gonna need access to this one right in there as well. And it's super simple. They just pop out, you put the new ones in, you're good to go. I didn't adjust these whatsoever. So I wanna see how comfortable this thing is with the new shocks on because that was one big thing of this thing bottoming out. And I only weighed 170 pounds. So really curious to see how that is. I also ordered uh, foot pegs. I wanted purple ones. I ordered the bag. This is the large pizza size bag. I'll put a link to that in the description as well as from the company. They also have patches that you can buy or you can order patches from Amazon. So it's kind of cool that you can do that. This is a pretty, pretty big bag. You can put a lot of stuff in there. I'm thinking it'd be nice to put an extra battery extender in there that connects to this as well. But um, I'd have to figure out how I would do that because it doesn't use your standard plug for connecting the battery. So I'd have to go through that. The bad thing about this is they're over here and I did not get the correct thread pitch. So I ordered purple because I was going for a purple theme on this and yeah, they don't work. So unfortunate, I'm gonna have to return these or just keep them and say, screw it. Maybe put them on something else I have in this garage. We did get some purple grips in, which are nice. They don't really match the purple down there. It's like a dark purple and this is a light purple. And I also added a mirror too, by the way. Let's see how we have one on this side and we don't have one on this side. And that is because the domino throttle is actually thicker and I could not get these grips on because they have a piece of plastic underneath and then you have these locking collars on the side. So I might have just got to get a regular like slip on grip that's purple, but I'm gonna have to order a whole new set because I want these to match. So that sucks for that, but at least this one's not moving because if you ever get the Roadrunner Pro, you'll notice that this side of the grip will move and they do put some tape under here. It just doesn't hold it very good. So other than that, guys, I think it's time. Let's go take this thing for a spin. It's gonna be pretty quick. I just wanna jump off some curbs and just kind of go down the street, haul ass, hit some potholes and just see if it's a fun time and if it actually changed how it feels when riding it, if the upgrade is worth it, because this is only like a $70 upgrade. It's actually not that expensive. So again, links down in the description. Let's go on the GoPro, let's get out there. All right, it looks like I need to air the back tire up. I'm hoping it doesn't have a small flat, but it definitely, uh, when I put my weight on it, it was definitely uh, going half flat. So I'm gonna have to air this up real quick. Let me see how the front is. Yeah, the front's perfectly fine. So let me do that real quick. One thing I never understood is why the valve is pointed towards the motor. Like, I feel like I'm going to break this, trying to move it out of the way. <laughs> All right, I think we should be good. And this is not a sponsor of my channel or anything, but they did reach out to me to send me some products, but I actually bought it myself on the TikTok shop. I love this thing. This thing is dope. So I highly suggest getting one of these. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Not much. Sorry. No, no, you're good, you're good. First thing? All right, I think now it's time to get out of here. We had some Amazon packages and everything's aired up. I was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. Whoa. Man, this thing's fast as hell. I was thinking I was on something different. This thing will absolutely catch you off guard. I was leaving my house and Lily felt like I was gonna wreck. <laughs> Looking stupid in front of the Amazon, man. All right, so, so far, so good. You know, like normal, we haven't done anything crazy, so I can't tell if it's gonna bottom out or not. But I will say it feels like more plush though. Um, I would love to change out the seat too, because to change out the seat, even though it is decent, I still want a little bit more padding, but that would definitely help our suspension. All right, let's come up this way and see how it does. Oh yeah, it's way better. Holy moly, we need to turn the power down so we can actually have fun. Oh my God, that was so nice. Woo. Let's see how this go on the curb. Wow. Now the front suspension is just too soft. The 
back feels great. This is, oh man, this is a game changer. Yes. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth. Let's hit this real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm starting to hate the front of the suspension now. <laughs> oh man, no lie. This rear suspension is working. Like, can you feel it or can you see it? I know you can't feel it, my bad. <laughs> but no, that's cool. If I want to get a little bit more of a smoother ride, just air your tires down. Woo! And if you really want to peel out and make a lot more noise and not ever get traction in the front, definitely air that front tire up to like 40 psi that's like the highest it goes i have the rear set at 32 but what i noticed is as soon as i uh <laughs> what's up man i noticed as soon as that i uh, put it to 32 in the back it was just dropping to like 28 so i don't think it has a hole it just seemed like that was the characteristics of airing it up it was very weird and i don't know where these people are going Okay, got it. I'm really praying we don't have a flat on this thing because, I mean, I heard it's a split rim design and it's super easy to do, but I still don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I'd rather put some slime in it and call it a day. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. This is the biggest upgrade. Holy moly. Now it still handles the same, but it feels just, not buttery buttery smooth and I, I really appreciate it i really appreciate it thank you thank you for that you couldn't have waited just a little bit longer you asshole she's probably out of her starbucks chilling be out of here i gotta get away from all these people Ooh, even that bump that i just hit right there i don't know if you could tell it was nice I think what I'm mostly impressed about this whole entire upgrade, man, this is a bumpy road. I can definitely feel stuff on here. It's not like, oh my God, like it's like taking up all this stuff. No, I can definitely feel this, but so much better. But I'm really impressed because I think it's the price of it. The price is only like 60 to 70 bucks. And there's a bunch of sellers on Amazon. I'll put the one that I had because some of them were trying to sell the suspension for over a hundred bucks. And I wanted the purple one. And they were selling them for like 60 something dollars. So I was like, okay, I'll buy them from them. Dang, that guy's going fast, especially around this corner, bro. All right, I'm going before there's a car behind me. Oh, man. <laughs> I hella slid and I wasn't even trying to. One thing that you should do to this thing as well is get a mirror. This is a MIG tuning mirror. The only bad thing about this setup is the bars are so wide. And you might think looking at it that the bars are backwards, but they're not but they come out like, they don't come out straight like this, they come out like at an angle like this. So it just feels like this mirror, especially how long the bars are, they just feel so far away from me. I would like the mirror like right here. So I think down the road, I'm gonna change out these bars or maybe just cut these. If I just cut these, I can move the brake like right here, the grip could be like right here and in like right here or something. I think that would be good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, someone made a path. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that because... <laughs> Should we do it? Oh, I kind of want to do it, but I'm worried about a flat. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go on a little adventure. Let's go, let's go. Hey, someone's making a... Whoa, whoa, I slid. Holy moly, okay. Now our tire is full of mud, but at least we got fenders, so it's okay. Where do people walk around here? Is it just for that? Is this just, just that little section? I have no idea, but we're next to the 99, so a lot of people are gonna be staring and looking at me, but I'm just wondering uh, where this takes us to. I don't wanna run into anybody and then have to get out of here, and this thing is so, like, jumpy. <laughs> oh, man, okay, we can't go that way. Oh, man, what a dead end. All right, turn back around. It looks like someone's rode through it, but I'm not riding through that. Ugh. Oh, it looks like they, uh, okay, they made an entrance right here, and this is a Daryl's mini storage, so maybe people are breaking into uh, storage units. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm not going to go through there because there's obviously cameras and whatnot, and I'm not trying to break the law or get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so let's just get the hell out of here, and ah, ah, <laughs> people are just looking at us like we're nuts. <laughs> Why is it every time I seem to ride now, 
we just ride in a bunch of crap and I'm always cleaning these vehicles. And that's what I do on my day off. I'm trying to clean my Tesla and then I'm trying to clean these off. But wow, okay, hold on, let's get the dirt off the front tire. <laughs> oh man, uh, you can see a little mark. There's no smoke, but I could definitely smell rubber. But yeah, let's see uh, how well this back tire is doing. Okay, no, we're good on the back tire, so shouldn't have to worry about it. Let's go off the curb, let's do it. Let's do it again. Oh my God, it's buttery smooth. What are people doing for the front suspension now? Because that's what we really need some work on. Because it just, it's a little rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys are really gonna love that front suspension though if you're probably under 150 pounds. But if you're pushing, I, mean, I say like 200 and over, you're gonna hate the front suspension. But the rear suspension will hold up pretty fine and you can adjust it too. <laughs> yeah, buddy, man, I just smell rubber. It's all I smell. Might have to air this tire up so we don't wear it out too much because the more it's aired up, it might lose traction more, but it's also gonna like skim over the surface instead of being a little bit more flatter and ruin the tire a lot more. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh man, come on. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You're killing me. You're killing me. I'm out of here. All right, let's turn this way. Yeah. Let's go a little off to the side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a little bumpy. Oh, this made a huge difference, guys. You definitely need to do this mod to this. Hands down. Unless the company changes something in the future, it'd be cool to see a Roadrunner 3 where they put some extra stuff on it, fix the, the peg situation, I hate it. Fix the rear suspension, beef up the front a little bit, maybe have some adjustments and try to get it priced at a little bit under $3,000. Maybe uh, have a slightly bigger battery because <laughs> my voltage sag is just absolutely insane on this thing. Too much power for the battery size, we already know that. Move out the way, jackass. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Run, doggy, run! <laughs> just out here having fun, guys. It's not serious. Don't take me seriously, all right? But I really do appreciate it if you uh, drop a like on this video, man. We're trying to get in the algorithm again because a lot of people are saying that I was shadow banned and you guys couldn't see my videos. And honestly, I think it has to do something with me because a lot of you guys don't know, but I pay probably about $500 a month in like you know just advertising on amazon you know so people find my videos because even though you guys subscribe i need to find other people to keep the channel going because you guys might be interested in like one or two of my videos and then never watch again because maybe you're just interested in the suron or something you know and i'm not even using that no more so i always need like new people especially like when we ride like new things so i promote my channel but i haven't been doing it this last two weeks because just a lot of money if you guys want to know oh what the heck was that i heard something pop if you guys want to know like how crazy it is it's a vet <laughs> can't willy this thing uh as a youtuber like getting income from you know, like a bunch of 1099 mists all that kind of stuff um i owe a lot man <laughs> if i didn't buy my tesla model y which took about like 7500 dollars off my taxes uh, I would owe it a lot. It would have been closer to like sixteen or seventeen thousand. Cause right now I owe nine thousand dollars, and uh, not fun. I'll tell you right now, not cool. <laughs> not a very big fan. This is a nice camera right here, the TRD. It's like a stone color, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'm not sitting here waiting. Woo. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's nuts, guys. So it's cool to you know be able to. Uh, do stuff like this but you know, it's also expensive and oh here's some, ooh, ooh, that was pretty rough that was a big bump it's fun until you do your taxes and you owe a lot of stuff but i need to get better at this stuff because i i order a lot of stuff for these bikes like batteries sometimes i buy my own bikes depending on what it is and uh, i need to get credit for that and i'm really bad at saving my information so that's kind of how it is for a youtuber but <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Let's go off the curb again. Oh man, that's it's lovely. I love this thing. 
what should I do with it next, guys? I don't really know what else to do other than what I mentioned. I mean, I, I could, you know, do some modifications to some... Uh, well, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I, I was thinking about getting a battery extender. You guys can tell me what you think on that. I did put an aftermarket headlight up here, even though the stock headlight is great. And the reason why I did that is because this battery kind of sucks. And I was like, you know what? If I can avoid using the main light, which I got to see if the brake light works without it being on. I, I don't actually think it does. So I'm probably going to need the headlights on. But it was basically to say battery life or I don't know, for whatever reason, just to have more lights, I guess. But I don't really know what to do other than the handlebar situation. And I don't know. The front suspension, I'm not gonna get that too much into it. I'm not going to like upgrade the brakes or anything like that. I don't feel like doing that type of work, but I definitely would like a seat upgrade. If you guys know anywhere to get a seat, I would like to change this out. And I'm not gonna do it myself. I'm not gonna take the upholstery place like around here. I'd rather just buy a whole brand new seat for it, swap it out real quick, instead of it being down and you know, hoping the person I know does good work and it doesn't come out the way I want it to. I wanna see someone's like examples of like how it comes out you know man that was that was nice first time i hit some uh like you know speed bumps coming through the neighborhood but that's cool i still can't believe those kids told me to wheelie like come on man does anyone wheelie these things i don't think they're okay not anything's impossible but yeah i, I don't see me wheelie in this thing <laughs> it just doesn't doesn't feel ideal but i really hope you guys like this video and most likely I'll probably see you like in the next one. Excuse me. Thanks. True MVPs, baby. Woo! Definitely do this mod to your bike. And again, sorry for the super long intro, but I was trying to mix in two videos together and I wanted to make it decently long like I normally do, like 20, 25 minutes instead of just 10. You know what I mean? It's really short. Sorry guys. See ya. Yep, didn't bottom out hitting that, and I always did before, so that's good to know.